What's with the hydration obsession? Everybody has to always have water in their hands. You can't walk down the street without a bottle of water. And richer than the people who sell all this water are the people who make all these potable, portable packages. You got the silver bottle, the red, green, purple glass bottle. You got the bottle shaped like an alligator, a football, a spaceship, uh, a Kenner Barbie doll. I think maybe if I create a bottle shaped like a penis, maybe this uh, obsession will end. Or maybe it'll just get bigger. The first time I noticed this indulgence was when uh, the son of the Montreal booze family uh, started uh, trying to throw away his family fortune by investing in the movies. So he was always having press conferences and he had the perfectly, uh, you know, day and a half uh, uh, sh shadow, uh, which then everybody adopted. And then he was always carrying a bottle of water. And from there, it just, it just took off. Of course, Starbucks, Amazon, every seller of everything today uh, markets these security blankets. I can't leave the house without my water. I can't trust that lowly plastic water bottle that sells for $4.99 for a pack of 24 because it won't be hypoallergenic, non-toxin, gluten, and peanut-free, and ready for my pre-glossed lips. Thus, I have to have my very own carry-along, and not one, but isn't it fun to have several to match my mood, or to match my pumps, or to match my lid? I appreciate that California off and on is uh, suffering from droughts more devastating than usual, but do you appreciate that half the world is starving and doesn't have clean, safe water or sanitation to begin with? Have you noticed that you can find good, healthy uh, drink of water, usually free, in roughly 10 million restaurants and cafes in every city in Europe, North America, Australia, New Zealand, and other dots of the map? Aren't you grateful for the outrageous riches we enjoy in these struggling, ever-evolving democracies? Here's the challenge I throw at you. Try walking down the street without sucking on something and babying your ever-needy self. Try walking down the street without texting or talking on your Android or iPhone. Try having dinner or coffee in public and actually communicating with the people sitting at your table. Try noticing other people, shops, signs, trees, children, dogs, houses, apartments, cars, birds, and the sky. I know it's not you know, in Cyberland or wrapped in plastic or equipped with a straw or brandishing a company logo so that you can become free advertising for some multimillionaire. I know that if that's the case, you may question its legitimacy, but try. Pickle. Be a camel. Have a drink of water before you leave the house.